Embedding a row within a column is very useful if you need to subdivide that column, but you don't really want to break it so that it's another main column. So let's take this example. We've got our two quarter columns here, and I want to divide this into three separate columns. Now, I can't do that overall. I can't have a quarter, a quarter, and then a three, a third, and a third, and a third of a half just doesn't work out mathematically and Visual Composer settings won't take it. So what I can do is add a row within this column. So now I've got a nested or embedded row within that column and I can make it third, third, third. So now if I add in, I'll add a picture into each of these columns that I've created. So we'll just add a picture into each one and then you'll see the effect. And I find this is much easier to do with the back end editor because you can see where the rows and columns are much more clearly. From the front end, it's harder to pick those divisions and those dividers between the rows and columns and sections. And so now you can see we've got three elements in their own column. And if we duplicate down this picture and this picture, and then maybe even again, And you can see it's all still staying lined up really neatly. And so this is a really good way of actually having varied number of column widths. So for example, you could have uh, a row which has two columns and you could have within that, you could have another row which has four columns and a row which has three columns. And it won't give you an exactly like equal, um, this isn't, you're not going to get say seven equal width columns, right? This is three plus four, but it does give you that arrangement of, you know, thirds and then quarters within one row. And that's the real purpose and use of an embedded row.